Welcome to Get to Know Your County Commissioner. I'm Bianca Hanlon. District 10 has two new centers that will have a great impact on our community. To share more on this, we caught up with District 10 Commissioner Senator Javier Soto, who will first tell us about the success of the recent inauguration of the Westchester Cultural Arts Center. Well, it, it was uh, quite a success. I, uh, I'm very happy with everything that took place at night uh, here. It was uh, uh, the 25th, June 25th. Uh, as promised, we um, gave a, um, we had a preview, preview inaugura inauguration. We, we wanted the people, the uh, people of Miami-Dade County, especially the people from Westchester, where we are located here, um, to have a, a first look, you know, before anybody else, before this thing gets in, in total uh, uh, full operation, to have a, a, a view of the place and to enjoy a little show and. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's exactly what happened. We had a little inauguration. Um, we had a uh, uh, full house. Uh, I don't know how many people attended. Probably over 300 people, persons attended. Uh, we had a little show by the boys and girls of the uh, group that's going to manage this place, which is a group that was uh, uh, um, selected by the cultural department and it was wonderful. It was quite a thing. Senator Soto also shared what this center will mean to young art students and their families, as well as the community as a whole. Oh, this is going to be uh, a haven for, for these people, for the young guys. They, they were so happy, uh, so delighted uh, 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 performing their own stage that night. I saw them and uh, uh, that's just a sample, a little sample of uh, what's going to occur here, what's going to happen here. The, uh, um, the amount of talent, the, the amount of, uh, of uh, 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 and I, I've been, I've been uh, uh, a, a witness to all that uh, in, different, in the different arts uh, performing. I, I've seen kids performing uh, with saxophones, with, uh, with the guitars, uh, with um, trumpets, boys and girls. I, I've seen them uh, doing all the things. Uh, but this is a, a wide open um, cultural center, so I guess we're going to have uh, space for dancing, for theater, for uh, maybe maybe painting and uh, classes of all sorts for the kids. So uh, it's going to be terrific. Senator Soto is also proud to bring to the Westchester community free access to health and wellness. He updated us on the new Westchester Library Health and Wellness Information Center, which is near completion. This center which is called the Health and Wellness Center of Westchester. It's going to be administered by the library department to be used as a center of information for the people, um, mostly uh, retired doctors, professors, uh, nurses, uh, the people from uh, Jackson Memorial Hospital or Jackson Health Systems, uh, the people from um, University of Miami Medical School, uh, FIU Medical School and other medical schools will come here and give information to the uh, people of Miami-Dade County about diseases, about treatments, about nutrition, about uh, how to uh, live a better life. You know, uh, I guess that also psychologists and psychiatrists and others will come here. So um, it will be a free um, system of um, getting to the people. It's going to be, uh, as they say, from the horse's mouth. It's going to be given by doctors, by professionals, uh, by highly qualified people uh, uh, of uh, the nursing profession, also dental profession, anything that has to do with health. Uh, uh, I guess podiatrists, uh, chiropractors, you know, all kinds of individuals, uh, licensed individuals, uh, individuals, uh, 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 bona fide uh, uh, individuals who can come and give uh, presentations to the people. Um, I think it's going to be very exciting. This is a, a first. Uh, it's never been, never been done before uh, uh, in, in Miami-Dade County. And uh, we're very proud to be the sponsors of this idea and uh, the, uh, the office that uh, got the idea, got the uh, monies, got the, all the things necessary to, to build this beautiful building here for the people of Miami-Dade County, especially the Westchester people. Senator Soto also explained in more detail what types of meetings and seminars will be held at this new center. This center will be a tremendous plus for the people of this area and the people of Miami-Dade County in general. This center, uh, as I was saying, will be uh, 
controlled and managed by Miami-Dade County, by the library department specifically, and uh, under the, of course, the guidance and the uh, administration of the of the Board of County Commissioners. Uh, the Board of County Commissioners represent the people of Miami-Dade County in general, and uh, so it's it's a it's a non-profit, non uh, it's not a business institution. Uh, it will be uh, well run, I'm sure, by the library department, and uh, the people will be able to come and get their information on whatever it is, diabetes, uh, pregnancy, uh, uh, pediatric diseases, uh, uh, problems uh, of all sorts. Uh, um, you know, there's, there's a million problems in, in, in human beings, and, and we'll have a, uh, a little of this or a little of that. So uh, it's, it's going to be a tremendous plus for the people of Miami-Dade County. Our thanks to Senator Soto. As always, we appreciate his time and important updates. That's all for this edition of Get to Know Your County Commissioner. For more information on county programs or services, call 311 or visit miamidade.gov. And be sure to connect with us on social media. I'm Bianca Hamlin. Thanks for watching.